Okay, oh. we are live. <laughs> there's no, there's no real countdown. Just it tells me that it's live. There's, so. there's no countdown or anything. Susan and I were ready to go. All right. I know. Gosh, that was. <laughs> it's all good. But we are live now. So hi everybody that's out there watching. Um, welcome to Cake Boo. We are uh, really excited about today's training. Every once in a while, we'll bring on multiple guests and. And today we have some uh, multiple guests here. <laughs> very, very fun. I don't group. think I've ever been called a multiple guest. Have you been? A multiple guest, multiple. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so for those of you that are new to Cake Fu and uh, aren't sure what this is all about, um, I'm Amelia Carbine. I'm the host, and um, you should be able to see on your screen the hopefully the video of us playing or you wouldn't even hear us right now so anyway there's a main screen with with us and then off to the right hand side uh, there is a, a chat section so you can actually go on and chat amongst yourselves you can go ahead and enter in your you know information log on whatever and you can um, chat with everyone that's there it's a really fun thing uh, also there is a, um, a right there in that same chat area is where you're going to ask any questions that you might have for anything they can ask anything wait wait well we need to put some <laughs> yeah. on that anything <laughs> well you know, it's scary within reason <laughs> okay there we go and you know what I'm sure you could ask anything we may not answer everything <laughs> There you go. <laughs> but Much ask better. whatever you feel like asking, and we will <laughs> answer whatever questions we can. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and, and throughout the training, make sure you're listening, make sure you're asking questions. Um, don't be shy. We, we'd love to hear from you. So, uh, that's yeah, there's nothing about the being, work. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> about being shy when Susan and I are together. So, you know, just go for it, folks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So um, we will pause for uh, just a few seconds. Let me straighten out my camera really fast. Sorry, guys. I should have done this earlier. Oh, getting dizzy. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. That should be better. So we're going to pause for just a few seconds, and uh, I will go ahead and Could you do fix an that official. The picture behind you? It's crooked. I'm it kidding. Is it is <laughs> yeah. Pick the picture behind me. It's not a picture. It's me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's been kind of a crazy morning this morning getting everything ready to go. So it's still crooked, isn't it? it oh well. We're, we're just not gonna. We're not gonna you know, worry about on, it. We're on our end, <laughs> on our end, you look perfectly straight. Yes. So you're good, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're looking good. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah, looking right. good. Look at her. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we'll pause for just a second and do an official introduction, and then we will go ahead and get started from there. Okay. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Cake Foo Masters training. We are very excited that you're here today, and uh, I'm I'm uh, very excited to announce our guest today. So uh, I am Amelia Carbine. I'm your host on Cake Foo, and. Uh, I, I love doing what I do, and it's just, it's always super fun to have on the guests that we have. And uh, these guests today are some of my dearest friends. I, I love them to death. So uh, we have Peggy Tucker. Hi, Peggy. Hey, girl. How's it going? Good. Very good. It's been good. a long time since I saw you. Oh, yeah, like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yep, like yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we went to San Diego for a, a cake decorating competition. That's where Peggy is still right now. And we also have Susan Carberry. She is uh, with us today. Hi, Susan. Hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that is Here's Susan. Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Uh, so yeah, Susan is uh, also in well, San Diego area. You're in. Um, well, I'm actually in um, South Riverside. It's uh, Murrieta, which is right near Temecula. So I'm about an hour go. from where Peg is right now. Yeah, so an, an hour northwest? Yes, northeast. Uh, oh, no, uh, yeah, northeast. Yeah, I'm, northeast. I'm bad with directions. That's okay. <laughs> I know it's on the way out and the way right. back to Las Vegas. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, she's in uh, that uh, Murrieta area. Mm -hmm. Where so, you can go to get the best cupcakes. 
Mm-hmm. Excellent cupcakes. <laughs> yes. All right, so um, let's talk about you guys a little bit before we get started with the actual training portion. Um, how about uh, Susan, since you're on the screen right now, <laughs> let's, let's talk about you a little bit. Um, tell me about how you got started into cake decorating. How I got started, wow. Huh. Well, actually, I was um, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do for a living and took a class on being a wedding coordinator. And the first couple minutes of class, they named all these characteristics of a person. They said, if you're any of these, then this isn't for you. And so I thought, do I get up and leave now? <laughs> but they started talking about cakes, you know, the catering and all of that kind of thing. And I took a cake decorating class from there. And I just loved it. I knew right away that I just loved it. So then I just took more classes and became a Wilton instructor and joined cake clubs and entered shows. And here I am now. have my own shop here in Murrieta. So that's long story short. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, and that's great. You know, I, I think that everybody has a different um, story for their you know, how they got started, but a lot of people, it, it kind of started by accident, so, mm -hmm. yeah, it's great yeah. stuff. So, you have your shop in... Um... Yeah, my shop here in Murrieta, it's uh, mainly selling cake supplies and teaching classes, but we do sell cupcakes daily. But we don't do cakes anymore or cookies or any of that thing, because I travel a lot. Cake Cottage. Yes, it, and it is the cutest little shop. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. It looks like a little cottage. You walk inside, and everything's so cute. <laughs> Very cute. And Susan, you, you have you have um, products that you sell. You want to talk about the products that you have? Yeah, um, I just recently um, started doing my own line of copper cookie cutters because I've just always loved cookies and um, in a couple of weeks I'm going to be going to cookie con which sounds exciting because I've never gone I think you're going to be there too right Amelia and um, I'm also started to do some silicone molds which we'll be showing in a little bit during the video so I'm pretty awesome. excited about that it's fun that really is cool I, I think uh -huh. it's really fun that you can branch out and, and create a product you know and, and sell that so and yes, Cookie Con. It's kind of a new deal. Yes. This is their second year. Yeah, and, I believe uh, so. Yeah. I'm headed up to it next weekend, so you guys will hear a little bit about Cookie Con next week. It'll be fun. Yep. So yay. Um all right, so now Peggy, let's talk about you a little bit. Yeah, Peggy. Oh, are we sure we want to do that? Let's oh, talk cool. about you. <laughs> talk about no. You know, I really like talking about Susan. No, I want to talk about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I for one am extremely excited over Susan's new uh, product line of the of the molds because I've been having the opportunity to play a little bit with them for the last couple of months. And anybody who knows me knows that I am all about isomalt and now this new product um, called Deco Gel and it just works beautifully in her in the silicone molds and she has some of the most unique molds and some of them she's actually just hand carved herself so they're very unique to to her line and I'm excited about that um, pretty much everybody knows that I own and operate school at Cakeology and I just travel all over um, teaching because it is my true passion um, I love to pass on the art I meet some of the most amazing people um, kids are now starting to get more and more involved um, with the isomalt which was amazing at the uh, San Diego cake show there were more cakes there with isomalt on it from children than there were adults which just totally took me back um, I loved all of their unique designs um, Jason, a really great friend, um, who's 10, took first place with his isomalt design, and I was like the most proud parent you'd ever seen. Um, <laughs> so it is a passion for me, and I do love doing it. Um, I get to travel with some of the most amazing people, such as my good friend Susan Carberry, and trust me, we do have a really good time when we are on the road. <laughs> now they're going to think we don't work. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, we, we, might work. Do, we might have to do a video showing them the work part of it, otherwise they will think we're doing nothing but partying. Right. I say work hard, play hard, right? 
Exactly. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. Well, and you have to play, you know, when, when you're on the road teaching and things like that because it really is a lot of work to pull things together. And, yeah, you guys are very dedicated, and, and I think that the cake world appreciates what you guys do. Well, thank so, you. And uh, also, Peggy, you are a certified master sugar artist. I am, um, yeah. Talk about that process and how you accomplished that. Oh, my. Um, well, the, the, it's a long process. Um, you have to submit um, your designs for all of your cakes, um, all of the processes you're going to be going through. The first year that I did it, um, I missed um, making um, Certified Master Sugar Artist um, by a very small little, little tiny, tiny smidgen. Um, and I was okay with that because it gave me kind of like a run through. So when I went for it the second year, um, it was just a matter of just know absolutely every little thing. And you just laid it down and went boom, boom, boom right through it. Um, I finished ahead of time. <clears throat> And um, I actually got to be have the title of um, Certified Master Sugar Artist, and it really falls into having a really good day <laughs> 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 when you're taking that test. <laughs> there are a lot of folks who have gone for it, and, you know, for whatever reason, you just don't have that perfect day going for you. It doesn't mean that you don't have the skill sets. It just means that you weren't having a really good day. Um, so I'm very grateful to have that title. Um, it was something of a personal goal for me to go after, and um, I achieved it on my second try. Awesome. That is wonderful. And congratulations on that, because that is a huge accomplishment. It really Thank is. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about um, what, why we're all here, DecoGel. Um, what, what exactly is DecoGel? How did you get involved with DecoGel? And, you know, where can we go with this? It's all you, Peggy. It's all me? <laughs> oh, wow. You, I, in, in my line of work, I have this really, I mean, my job has a lot of um, different um, sides to it. And one of them is I get called in by companies to kind of look at new products and get a feel for how I think they're going to go into our world. And um, one of them got handed to me um, last year. I'm thinking it might have been the May time frame. And it was a product that at the time we weren't really sure what we were going to call, but it was, a, it was so we're now we're calling it Deco Gel. And what it is is a gel that you slightly heat in the microwave, um, you pour into any mold whatsoever, you let it set, you pull it out, and what I found so phenomenal about it is that um, it looks just like isomalt, but it stretches. And so my mind exploded when I saw this product, and it is being brought to all of us by Icing Images. Um, Deb, Debbie Coughlin was the person that was with me when we first um, looked at this product. And so we knew that this was something that would be major into our world, um, simply because it can go into the refrigerator, it can go into the micro, or I'm sorry, the freezer, um, without doing any harm to it whatsoever. And as we know, we can't put isomalt into the freezer or the refrigerator, um, but it it coordinates beautifully with it. So this was a no-brainer for me. I was getting on board with Deco Gel. Awesome. That is really cool. Um, okay, so for those of you that are here listening, we're, we're going to be playing a video in just a minute on um, the, a, a little demonstration that we put together. Uh, Susan and, and Peggy did a, a, a very fun demonstration. I, I did have to edit a little bit. <laughs> not, not because... <laughs> well, I, well, I yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But you know, there are some outtakes that uh, I am I'm hanging as blackmail on <laughs> and, and Peggy. <laughs> oh boy. But it yeah, it should it should be fun. Yeah. We'll have to we'll have to throw those up somewhere sometime. Somewhere along the line we'll have to put them up as uh, the bloopers by Susan Carberry and Peggy Tucker for <laughs> Yeah, so it, it should be a, a good video that uh, shows you guys what Deco Gel is all about 
and and how it it all works. Um, but I wanted to mention to you guys that we are uh, doing a giveaway. We will be giving away three packages of Deco Gel. For, yeah. Nice. So um, there is a place for you to register for the giveaway. It is down below this screen. Uh, so if you haven't already, make sure you go and register for the giveaway. Uh, I think all that is required is your email address. And um, we'll, at the end of the training, we will pick our winners. And then um, also... Are we in that? Are we in that pay? Yeah, I do. Well, you know, I, I have some, but I still don't have the new product in the nice little containers. I still uh, have yeah, you know, yeah. the practice stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The little uh, demo things. Right. Yeah. They come, excuse me, they, they come in really nice containers now, just a really nice little square plastic container. So they, yeah, they're really cool. Um, if you want to go and check out the, the actual product, we have the product now on our uh, uh, Cake Foo Marketplace. Woo! So, yay! I'm so Congratulations, excited. yay! <laughs> That's awesome. So there is a link. Um, Bobby hasn't shared it with me yet, but I will put up a link when I get the chance, or he will share it in the um, in the chat section. And I think that it's down below. If not, it will be shortly. So okay, we'll make sure that you get that link so that you can go and check out the stuff. We have a, a little bit of a discount for you. Um, it is current. It is regular price. I think sixteen ninety nine, and we have it on sale for you for fifteen forty nine. So if you want to go and uh, order some Deco Gel, play with it, see what it's all about, it's really cool stuff. I mean, it, yeah. When I first saw it, I was like, hmm, I wonder. But then when we saw the demo, I, I really started thinking, oh, I could, ooh, I could do that. Ooh, I could do that. And it's, it's a really fun product. So This is one of the reasons I brought Susan in because, you know, my mind works one way, but Susan is this beautiful artistic, and she knows where different things Mediums can be used, and so um, I, I laid it into Susan's hands and said, here we go, girl, what do you think? And so I'll let Susan go from there with it. <laughs> well, yeah, when I, um, those of you that know me know I'm really not a huge isomal fan, and that's why Peggy and I compliment each other, because she can do that part, which I have no interest in, and um, it, we just work well together. Um, when I first saw this, though, I thought, wow, um, the reason I really like it is because it, it can look like isomal, but they have a white color that you could mix any of the colors with, and it will actually look more like fondant. <laughs> um, so things, for instance... Um, this is from one of the molds. This is actually a fondant piece that I did oh, a few sorry. days ago. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so look, you can, you know, obviously it can break very easily. And I can't, since this is dry, I could not wrap that around a cake. Um, this one is a piece of that because I only kept a piece of the deco gel, which is still <laughs> flexible. And this was done Monday. So this is two days ago. And I could still attach this to a cake and move it and not worry about it breaking. And it looks like fondant. So I just think that it opens up a whole new territory um, that I'm excited about. And I haven't even begun playing with it. So we'll have to have another one when I come up with fantastic, you know, different ideas for it. Because I, I think you can do so much with it. I'm really excited about this. I think it's the best thing that has come to Cake Decorating Best product in years. So, Awesome. Okay, I have the link for you guys. Here it is. Cakefood.com forward slash product dash category. Uh, that should be different, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> forward slash deco gel. So that is the link that you will go to to see the product. Um, there are lots of different colors. It's uh, really... There are ten colors. Ten colors. What yeah. colors are those again, Peg? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'll be in the you video. Name, you name five of them and I'll name five of them. <laughs> okay, black, clear, yellow, blue, oh, wait, you green. Cheat. <laughs> I get to go first. <laughs> <laughs> you get all the hard ones, Peggy. That's right. <laughs> all right. We almost have the video up and ready to go. I apologize for the, the delay in the video. 
but in the meantime, um, let's um, let's talk about. Um, I guess how does it taste? Well, um, it has. It comes with a slight vanilla taste to it, and so the texture of it is very much like gummy bears. <laughs> Um, gummy bears have more of a flavor and stuff to it because they come in fruit tables like flavors like that. But you can flavor it, um, and it just has a very slight, <coughs> excuse me, vanilla taste to it, and that's it. And we don't want to overpower it because we know that people are going to want it um, to flavor it to how they want it to be, or we don't want to add a flavor to it coming from the manufacturer that will overpower, you know, the flavors that you have on your cake. But I'm pretty sure it tastes better than isomal, right? Well, <laughs> <laughs> isomal just has a very um, sugary taste to it. That's all. It's just it's just sugar. Um, so yeah, um, the first batch that I actually have um, is, like I said, almost a, a year old, and it had no flavors or anything into it. And so it, it didn't have the greatest taste. I'm going to be completely honest with you. And so they are uh, they tweaked it a little bit, and we now have this really light vanilla taste to it, and so that it blends beautifully with your cakes. Awesome. Okay. I see. I just did something wrong. So. Um, oh, you did? I did. I logged out. I logged <laughs> yeah. out of it. I have to log back on. So give me a minute. You guys talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Entertain. <laughs> Do a juggling uh, act. I will get this up okay, really well, fast. Peggy, go ahead and talk about it. How it it really does complement the isomalt because with this deco gel you can bend it and stretch it, but but you cannot have something stand straight up. Where correct isomalt you can. Correct. So they would you know, look the same in a piece, yet you can do different things with them. Different right? things with them, right. Mm -hmm. Isomalt, when you pull it out of the mold, um, you catch it just as it, it's starting to completely um, um, form, and then you can slightly bend it, or you can take your torch to it and heat it again slightly to give it movement, to wrap it around the cake. Um, isomalt, as we all know, I build large structures with it. Mm -hmm. um, I do beautiful cakes with butterflies and flowers and things um, that stand away from your cake so that it adds that pop effect to it. Mm -hmm. um, but it cannot go into the refrigerator. And so for four or five years now, I've had bakeries wanting to know, have you figured out how to get it to go into the refrigerator? Well, no, unfortunately, um, I personally have not, but I don't have that type of a brain to do that type of thing. Um, cake play, though, is amazing. and But the iso gel, or the deco gel, just complements it beautifully because the two of them work beautifully together. So right. you can do your borders and just pull it right out of the mold and wrap it right around that cake. You don't have to wait any time. And then if you don't like it, you can pull it off, put it on again. It, it just bends and forms. Where the isomalt, you have to bend it, form it before it fully sets. But now you're never going to be able to get deco gel to be a structural. I have a piece here in my hand, and you can see that it's gorgeous and it does beautiful drapes and, and things. And this is actually an onlay um, from Dominic's line um, um, Marvelous Make mold. Your Own Molds and Marvelous Molds. Thank you. And so, but you can't stand something on this and you can't stand this away from the cake because it's. Flexible. You know, very, it's flexible. It's very flimsy. Um, and this is, piece has been sitting around, and we've been playing with it now for several, for several weeks. And you can continue to stretch it and pull it. Now, when it's fresh out of the mold, you can't really pull it too hard or it will snap. But I, I love the two together. I love the fact that the deco gel has that look of isomalt without it being isomalt. And I love that I can blend the two of them together. Mm -hmm. It's great. I know. Look at all the new classes you're going to be coming up with. Woo! Well, look at what you're going to come up with. I already <laughs> know that your mind is like going, oh my, I can do this. Oh my, I can do that. Um, yeah, because you have this whole wonderful side of creativity um, to it, and I'm excited that you're on board with this. Um, what I'd like to talk to you about is uh, some of Susan's new molds. Do you have any there that you can you can hold up and show? I just have a few. I should have brought more over here, but they are going to be in the video, so we'll, we'll they see. They are in them. the video. Yeah. And of course, the ones I have here aren't um, 
the really nice, unique ones. So <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, this is a raffia one, which I would probably never use with the deco gel. Unless <laughs> but, but although you could. I could, yes. Yeah. But I mean more like the one that I was hanging up that's really um, this one here now, now since I broke it, but um, very intricate. Um, molds that you would normally have to put the fondant in, pop it in the freezer for a few minutes, and then um, pull it out and be very careful when you're you're actually you know flexing the mold to get it out rather than pulling the fondant. And um, let me just show you one of um, this is not my mold, but um, just so you can see that this is this one Peg and I had poured in here Monday. So okay. again, it's two days ago and we can actually still use it. So see, so you can still pull it out. A lot of times I like to flex the mold and stuff first, but um, that's pretty amazing that it's been sitting there for two days in the mold and I can still pull it out and, and use it. So use it. I think that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure if Amelia's got the video um, just about ready, but we, you know, she's not going to show you a couple of the crazy things that um, Susan and I were doing, and I, for one, am kind of grateful because we had um, deco gel. We were trying to use it as jewelry oh, on yeah. Susan for earrings. <laughs> you know, little dangly, dangly. I guess we'll show you now. Yeah. So, you know, and I have the deco gel here. I have the purple. Susan is playing with the black right black. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can tell you this because of the heavy pigmentation in our in the black as well as the white, it does take it a little longer to set up, and um, that's all that the difference is to it. But you can make your pieces uh, really fast by either just pour, you know, you pour it into the mold, let it set for you know 10 to 15 minutes, pull it out. If you need it to be faster, just set it in the refrigerator, pull it out. But I like to make all of my pieces um, ahead of time when I'm doing a cake and then just let them set for a full day. That's my preference because uh, the gel does have some shrinkage with it. And so if you just you know, put it on the cake right away and you slightly pull it, when it dries, it may or may not split on you. And that's part of the video that we showed you so that you could actually see how that happened. Susan's got some roses that she's holding up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm stretching. He's just playing. And then they go in the, in the meantime, and they sorry, go back. in the meantime, I think that uh, maybe we'll do the giveaway first, and okay. hopefully the video will be fixed. It, it says something about it processing, and I don't know what the deal is. So we will do the giveaway really fast. And, okay. Uh, and my name is in that giveaway, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right behind right. mine. No, right behind right. so, <laughs> yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Our first winner is uh, Bloomin Scrumptious. So that is our, our first winner. Congratulations. Woo Woo Congratulations. Lucky winner. So we will send you an email and let you choose the color that you would like. Um, and then uh, our RS. Oh. Oh. RS T I N C E R. R Stinser? I, I guess that's it. <laughs> it it's hard when I only have email me. addresses, but yeah, you're the second winner. So congratulations. Woo! <laughs> and then B Wagner 215. So uh, that's our third winner. So congratulations, you guys. If you guys Yay. didn't, if you guys didn't happen to win, um, go over and check out the website. I actually am going to share with you guys this screen because I I'm pretty uh. Pretty proud of this uh, page that we have here. It's our uh, oh, nice fun. new. Oh, looks good. Right. I thought it looked pretty good. It does. Very See? nice. Very nice. Yeah. And your and your sell. You have them on sale for what right now? They are fifteen forty nine. So the regular okay. price is sixteen ninety nine, <clears throat> and it's a decent sized package of of stuff. And the gel goes a really long way. Yeah, it's so. eight ounces in there. It doesn't look like it's a lot, but let me tell you, eight ounces goes quite a long ways. I actually um, just finished up a photo shoot um, that is going over to Icing Images so that they can actually show you how far eight ounces goes. Awesome. So we are. Um, 
pretty much there. I've got to log in one more time. But it's ready. The video's there. So yay. Good. <laughs> yay. Now is that sale on for how long? Did you already mention uh, that? Is, I might it have It is available that. for the next 24 hours. Ooh, so okay. Can, get it now. Yeah. You, you'll want to hurry on over there Ooh. and get, take advantage of that. Uh, let's see. I have to tell you how popular Deco Gel was when it when we first launched it. That um, we knew it was going to be huge, but not quite as huge as it actually turned out to be. That um, our first complete shipment sold out. <laughs> so um, some of That's it. That's awesome. Um, I know it was fantastic. Um, and so I think Images is working extremely hard. Let me tell you. To, um, to get those shipments here so that they can get them out to you because we know everybody is dying to play with them. Yes, like, yes there are some that are on back order. Um, yes. I don't think we have um, mentioned which ones are on back order on the website, but do just know that there are some that are on back order. On if back order. you do happen to order that exact color that is on back order, uh, just know that it is... Um, on its way and uh, be, you be do patient. Have it on there. They really are popular. Yes, oh, we they do. are. Yeah, I do see it on there under, yes, I see the yellow. It says back order. Mm -hmm. Clear so is probably awesome. back order. Yeah. Let me tell you what my favorite ones are. I absolutely love the red and the blue and the green. And then my, my those are my the ones that I love, but my all time favorite is the copper. Love, love the copper. And it's got nothing to do with that. I got to critique the colors for you. <laughs> I'm just telling you that they are my, my true favorite colors. Awesome. I like them all, actually. Well, yeah, I know, but I, you got to have a favorite. Mm, I probably will end up doing more with the white. With the white. White yeah. or the clear. Is that Correct. because it's opaque? Yes, yeah. because I can make it look more like fondant then. Okay, that so would be my reasoning, but I would mix it with some of the other colors. Here's a question. Can you take the opaque white and color it to what you want it to color it to? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can also take the, the opaque white or the white and add any of the other gel colors to it to totally change those colors, and then they will become opaque rather than the glass-like look that they have because they somewhat are see-through. Um, the other colors and that so that they do have that isomalt put to them. You can actually see through it, um, but if you use the white with the other colors, it's a solid, it's a solid opaque color to it then. So but it will look like the fondant Susan's talking about. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is too that you can just use a um, dusting powder or, you oh. know, luster powder and um, put that right over the top and, you know, it, it, it totally looks like fondant. Exactly. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super exciting! Hi, hi, hi. Super nice to check with this. Yeah. Okay. I think that we are. Sorry, I need to mute that. Okay. I think that we are ready. Huh, I think the video is ready. Yay! <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually a little scared to see what this video looks like. So, Susan, let's do the happy dance. Come on, girl. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, so uh, this is our first time doing an actual YouTube video on a Hangout, so I, I'm, I apologize for the snags that we've had, and hopefully this works. If not, uh, the YouTube video is available for you to go watch, and we'll share the link if, if this, for some reason, doesn't work. So anyway, here is my attempt at playing the YouTube video on the training. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everyone. Yes. <laughs> I see Susan. <laughs> I see all of you. Hi, Peggy. <laughs> going for you, girlfriend. Pretty good. Hey, are you ready for our play date tomorrow? I am. Me too. I'm getting get excited. We are going to be doing some great things uh, for some new classes coming out. Um, Susan has got some uh, amazing things, as you know, what she does with her cakes and. And what and, about uh, you? Well, you know, I I just hang around. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I so just like to hang around. Down? <laughs> well, you know, I kind of thought we'd get an early start on it, so maybe ten ish. You know, okay. I, I don't want to get there too early because you know 
I know that um, unfortunately I wound up giving you my cold and yeah. so that you need a little bit of rest. And you know why? Because you're such a giver. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I just love to give and so, you know, I share and uh, <laughs> even even things you might not want. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so my poor sister is walking around going sniffle, hat, cough. <laughs> this is going sniffle, hat, cough. <laughs> Well, we may as well talk about the class you have tomorrow night here at the Cake Cottage. Why, why don't we talk about that, Susan? Why don't we talk about that? I'm oh, sorry. No. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it on? Or no, should we keep, we can keep know, talking about I, our, the I'm class? I'm um, on for some reason. So I, I swear it's there, guys. I just I don't know what's going on. Let me get Bobby in here to help me. But you guys okay, can talk about, we'll the class. talk about the class. You'll get that amazing Cake husband of yours. And we're going to go ahead and keep talking about Susan Fantastic shop and classes that she's holding there. Okay. Okay. So, the class tomorrow night, and Peg, you, I guess, should talk about that. It's basically um, a workshop on whatever you want it to be. So, if you maybe have done isomalt before, or or even if you haven't, that if you haven't, then she'll show you the basics. If you have, and perhaps you want to do something pulled or blown, um, then she will certainly help you do whatever you want to do. She'll have the isomalt, we'll have the heat boxes, and we can, it's basically just fun. So if, you, if you're definitely, if you're having trouble with something, it would be a great opportunity for you to come because it's just play day. It is. It's kind of like a complete play date. I had a lot of folks that say, you know, I would love just to have kind of a little bit of one-on-one -on -one time with you, Peg. I'm struggling with this. Would you be able to help? And so, you know, we had the time, so Susan put this together. And it's what it is. If you've ever not, if you've ever wanted to just play with it in a really relaxed environment, this is going to be it. If you're struggling with trying to get it um, isomalt done in a certain mold, like I know one lady is coming, because she wants to put isomalt through the Marvelous Moles onlays. And so I'm going to help her with that and show her how that is easily done. And so it's it's just coming in and, and have the opportunity because when you take a class and you get home, you really sometimes just don't have the time to go back and play with it so that you can perfect your skills. So here we're going to be doing exactly that. We're going to be working on it. Um, everyone's going to be kind of doing a, a different thing. Thing, and um, I'm just going to be there to guide and help um, show you how to do the blown figurines, bubbles, um, you know, pulled roses, things like that. And you are going to have some deco gel here, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I might have a little bit of deco gel for all of us to play with. <laughs> so if you want to see it up close, touch it, um, then this is the class for you. Exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I do have two classes that uh, is going over at Linda Bills. Do it with icing. Um, I have one on Friday and one on Saturday, and uh, one of them is the uh, glass-like grapes, the fall grapes, which I, I think I love to do. I love those um, grapes. Don't they look just like they're the the, the mm -hmm. old-fashioned glass ones? And mm -hmm. it's done using sugar arts, dusting, um, gum paste. Um, and then we use the icing uh, or the um, cake play isomalt with it, and they just to me they just look like real grapes, and I and I love the fall grapes. Um, and then the other one we're doing is the American pulled rose, so we're going to be doing that. Um, and classes are always fun. You can do classes online, and I think they're great. Um, for me, classes in in house are the way for me to go because I, when students are doing something almost perfect, but it's just a matter of perhaps if they move their hand a certain way, um, or being able to say, you know, that's great, but look what happens if we did this, um, and you can't really get that on a on a on a different type of a level. Although I do enjoy them. Um, I really enjoy the one-on-one -on -one, uh, with students and meeting everybody in the room environment. Let me just say that the class here tomorrow night is from 4 to 7. If you'd like information, call the Kate Cottage at 951-600-4773. Uh, the other classes are down at Do It With Icing with our good friend, the owner there, Linda Bills. Okay, uh, and I'm not yeah, sure. Who, by the way, abandoned me and is on headed for a two-week cruise in the Caribbean. Imagine that. Nice. Oh, is she going today? She me. <laughs> yeah, she was leaving today. 
Awesome. So uh, I hope that she has a really good time because she deserves a nice little break. <laughs> okay, so I have, um, here, here's the issue. We are going to be able to play the video now. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if the sound is going to work. We will try. We'll try. If not, if not, you guys can be uh, our, uh, our... We'll narrate yeah. it. Yeah, okay. exactly. No, that's not going to work. Okay, so... <laughs> oh, there we are. Yeah, here you are. You guys can see. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. I forgot my chef's jacket. Uh-huh. Yeah, you did. That's okay. You always <laughs> look good, Peg. All right, so this is the whole setup that we have here um, with the Deco Gel. And uh, for those of you guys that want to watch this video as you know, as a whole, um, I will put up the link right now for that. And I apologize. I really thought that this would work. Um, I guess that's the the downside of doing things live is that Which sometimes seems, things don't work out. And that's um, okay. We learn from them and we go forward, Amelia, not to right. sweat the small things in life. I mean, if you didn't <laughs> ever try it, then we would never get any. We would never know. Right? You know, and the good thing is, is that there is a link that they can go to to watch the whole video. So all is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so right here we have um, these are the molds that you guys are using. You have it looks like you've already poured the the deco gel into some of these molds, mm -hmm. and um, it shows you how you guys have um, put some of the deco gel into like a little measuring cup to pour. Um, but like you, you were saying on the video, Peggy, that you can actually uh, melt it right from the container if you would you like. You can. Yeah, the little, can, the little square containers that um, the deco gel is now coming in has a little flip lid. So all you have to do is just pop that lid open, set it in the microwave for 15 seconds, um, perhaps 20 seconds, but no longer, and you can melt it right inside there, then pour the amount that you need, or use the little syringe, the little medicine syringes, to um, suck it up, and then you can use it to get it down into small little areas. And then when you're done, you just pop the top back, close up onto it, and store it, and go again. Now, are they seeing this? Because um, I can only see the video on the small screen. Is yeah, everyone else yeah, seeing everyone, it on the large? Everyone can see the, the video on the, the large screen. I control. Okay, good. I control what they can see. Okay. <laughs> so okay. They, do, they do see the large. Yeah. Okay. In fact, they can't okay. even see the small screens. Oh, okay. Is there a way that we can just see the the large one, and then we can? Yes, um, you can click on you can click on that screen, and it'll bring up okay. the large screen. Okay, let's do screen. that, Peg, and then um, we can actually. Oh, hey! <laughs> there you are, girl. Yeah. Okay. So, what is that, Peg? What are you doing? Oh, this is one of the icing images I design sheets, and one of the great things that you can do is I took the clear ahead of time and I melted it and I poured it across the top and then I took my spatula and I evened it out and pulled it down and then when it dries as you can see here we're pulling up the deco gel and what it's doing is it's bringing up the edible ink but leaving the paper behind so now we have this beautiful what you can you know almost call stained glass look to it because you can see through it then that's pretty amazing yeah and, and so it, Go ahead, Peg. It flexes, it bends, um, and then you can see I, I'm kind of just showing you here. You can play peekaboo with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Susan, without you and I talking, we could do this. All right, Susan, you up next. <laughs> yes, I can't see through it. You're right, Peg. Woohoo! Yeah, peek -a um, and so now I'm laying it down, and I'm actually was going to run my pizza cutter through it because um, sometimes that works best. An exacto knife straight through is going to be your better bet. Um, the pizza cutter was one of Susan's, and I think she dolled it on me just so I would have a little bit of difficulty here. Right. So <laughs> you can see where it it wanted to cut it, but it didn't. <sighs> but that um, the black up top here is that mold that Susan showed you earlier. It's you right at the to top of your muscle. screen. You just yeah, well, muscle, maybe that's it. I didn't yeah. have my Wheaties. Right. So what we wound up doing was going ahead and cutting it. Okay, Peggy, we have a question on here really fast. Someone oh, is perfect. saying that they have some older styrofoam lace molds um, for fondant and gum paste. Would they be able to use this for deco gel, and, and would they need to prepare it somehow? Is it Actually, styrofoam, or is it 
um, an elegant That's, lace impression by I, I'm not Webb. sure. It just says styrofoam lace molds. I don't know exactly what they are. I've never... Well, if it's one of the Carol Webb elegant lace impression molds, then yes, it does work. Where isomalt does not work in those because how do we know that, Peg? Because we've melted some. <laughs> we've melted some. You know, we played, we practiced. <laughs> but this does work in it because it doesn't get to that high of a temperature. Correct. <laughs> that is true. It does not get really hot like an like an isomalt, and so right. it's really easy to. Um, it's it's extremely user friendly. You know, isomalt is user friendly as well, but the only thing we have to work to watch there is, of course, because anybody who's ever played with sugar of any kind knows that it is hot. Now, if you overheat the deco gel, it will get hot as well. So, but you know, I've cooked it for a minute and put my finger down inside of it, and I was not burned. It's warm, but it's not ever going to leave a burn mark for you. So it's a, it's, it gives you that that beautiful look without the high temps. Okay, so what I was doing there is asking Peg some questions about how to actually attach this to the fondant. Um, when you first lift that up, the sticky side is underneath, and that's no, it's on. It was on top, wasn't it? It's on top. Yeah, and it was um, that was the sticky side, which usually you can attach the sticky side to the fondant. But I actually wanted that sticky side out because that had the gloss to it. So then um, she recommended that she was using the blowtorch there to heat up the deco gel, which you could have a microwave also, we just didn't have it handy. And then using a brush to brush on a little bit of the fresh deco gel and then attach um, the piece with that. And then what I'm doing is pleating it back on itself so then I had to use another little dot of deco gel to get that to um, seal and then continue. Perfect. And uh, we do have another question here. Someone's asking, I guess it's Claire North, is asking, what is deco gel's enemy? What do we have to be careful of? Heat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have so a perfect you, example. We have a perfect <laughs> example. Um, at the at the San Diego cake show, the beautiful the cake that I had built using the deco gel on all of the trim work, the beads and stuff, the um, woman um, who is brand new to cake decorating um, took it from there because she wanted in the auction, which was more money for Ronald McDonald House, so we say thank you to her. Um, but then she put it into her car, and here in San Diego it was 80 some odd degrees outside, so inside that car was probably pushing 90 something. And um, she went off and had um, um, lunch, dinner, what have you, and came back about uh, two hours later, and um, the deco gel had run. And so heat is its enemy. You cannot put it into, um, you know, out into a garden wedding when it's going to be, you know, 90 degrees. Um, if that's but, the only problem with it. <laughs> but would you have your cake? outside with the sun hitting it at 90 degrees. I think you would have more problems than just the deco gel melting. Exactly, you would. Yeah. <laughs> right? So it, it is all in, but that's the only thing that I have found um, with the deco gel is that you cannot set it into direct sunlight when it is hot. It doesn't fade its color, so that's fantastic. I love that. But it, it will cause it to wilt. Okay. What? How about water? Water will, will yeah, it melt? Water, yeah, water will melt it down because it is a soluble. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it'll, you, know, you don't want to attach it to the cakes using water. You want to use the deco gel itself to water. Um, you can use Crisco. Um, what I have found with Crisco, though, is um, on the colored ones, if you, if you have it attached there and, let's say, three hours later you come back and you want to move it, because you can, um, it leaves the color behind on your white fondant. So I, my preference is to just use the deco gel itself in the exact color of what I'm using to attach it to cakes. Okay, great. Yeah, I think that's really great that you know the deco gel itself is the is adhesive. It's glue. You yeah. know, and so you don't need any additional product for it. You just need the deco gel. You just right. need the deco gel. It's great. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and here is one of. Uh, Susan Smoles, and I'm taking out the deco gel now, and we had poured that just as this video started, 
and I'm bringing it out and you can see that it is extremely flexible and very sticky and that's because it has not had it's time really to really fresh. set up right yeah. but now watch how you can just pull it it'll stick to itself and then you just pull it away and you have your design it's that's the nice thing that it will pull away from each other now if you do you know pull it too much it it will tear but I mean it takes a lot to to make it, it tear yeah and she was also flexing the mold all the way around because what happens you flex the mold and it it the deco gel kind of pulls away from the edges so she does that first all around the mold and then she goes ahead and um, pulls out the center bit yeah perfect okay. and that's and then, to help release it as well as letting you know that the deco gel is fully set up if you let's talk about what you're doing right here really fast I want to see oh. Um, sometimes certain molds will leave it um, without that glassy look on it, so you can just take your torch really super fast, <laughs> um, and I'm talking really super fast because, of course, heat and uh, gel is going to cause it to melt, but it brings that beautiful shine right back to it, just like you would do isomalt. Um, if it has a dullness to it, you take your torch to it, and it brings that shine right back. Perfect. Just know that it... Way faster than you would torch isomal, right? Oh, yeah, way faster. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, we have to barely, start all over. <laughs> yeah, start all over. We barely kiss the surface of that. Okay. And so what if you really just you don't like the design you're working on, you know, the mold isn't working out, or, you know, you, you messed it up, it broke in half. What, can you take the gel and can you start again? Can you remelt it? Susan yeah. shaking her head. Oh, yes. yeah. That's uh, oh, yes. one of the beauties of it. You certainly can. Yep. And yes. another thing, if the, um, say you did the piece a few days, you know, ahead of time, um, or if you've actually touched a piece too much, then it will lose that sheen. And again, you can still bring it back. So it doesn't have to be right when it comes out of the mold. It could be one that has, you know, sat for a couple days. You can still go over it with the blowtorch and get it back to that nice sheen. And it has such a beautiful um, clearness to it. So it's fantastic for gems and things of that sort. Perfect. All right. Since we started the video so late in the game, if we've got about 10 minutes left. I'm going okay. to fast forward just a tad here so that we can see a little bit better what, what it is that uh, we're, we're dealing with. So you have taken now this, you, this is one of your frame molds? Yes, this is one of my frame molds. We've just poured um, some deco gel just in a, a portion of it, um, showing that you know even though you have certain molds, you don't have to use the entire mold. So what we're doing here is actually attaching it right above where the ruffle is to finish that off, and we've attached it with the deco gel. Now there is something very important here that I did not know because I'm you know still in the new process here of working with it um, that. I actually stretched it a little bit too much because it was very it was very fresh deco gel. So what happens when you stretch it and put it right on the cake is it can actually tear a little bit. Peggy, go ahead and um, talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, she actually it's, set me up. Yeah, I, I set her up a little bit. What <laughs> a good friend for, right? Yeah, there's that one. She's coming right after you. Um, just to see, to be able to show you that. You know, if you pull it too taut, because we all want want to do that because it's it's very flexible. So you you know you can do that, but see how it tears? It will break. So you can pull it so far, but because it is a gelatin, it's going to dry. Um, and when it's very fresh, it's going to have an easier um, possibility of tearing. And that's what happened with Susan. We poured it, we pulled it out. She put it on there, but she stretched it to try to get it from one end of that ruffle to the other end of the ruffle and there's a little tiny tear in it and you'll see me point that out in a little bit if not not to worry what you, all you have to do is if that happens is just bring it back together because it will stretch back together take a little bit of the same color of the deco gel on a paintbrush and go up and just lightly paint it and then it closes back up and what I like to what I've done when I found this problem is I use two little straight pins to hold it into place until it was fully set mm -hmm. and then I pulled my pins out and it was a beautiful repair job nobody's Perfect. ever gonna know that it's there 
Perfect. Okay, I want to talk about what's happening right here. Susan had taken the, the mold that she had and stuck it on top of it, and then she didn't like it. So what did she do? She just took it right off. I love that it doesn't stick to itself. I think that's just wonderful. I know it, it's like it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> but it does, but it, it, it sticks, but then if you don't like it, you just pull it off. Uh-huh. It's kind of like those color flow, you know, uh, those kids um, clothing that we used to go up and down on clothes. You know, you put a little dress on it, don't like it, pull the dress off, put some shorts on it, whatever. Um, <laughs> but it, it really is, you can do anything. Oh, yeah, like the little it. window clean type things. Yes, right? there we go, the window oh, clean those. thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's so what the New mold. York New York cake molds that we're using right there, they have some very nice molds out there too. Very delicate. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, any mold will will work perfectly. Even the little candy molds, those little clear through, see through ones, um, goes into it beautifully. So the possibilities are really endless. Mm -hmm. And we are endless. we are not putting anything in the mold prior no. to it. No, so just you in. just yeah pour it you straight just pour in. It right in. That's yeah. great. That's mm -hmm. yeah. great. So okay. one thing that I have found you cannot do with it, and Susan and I attempted to do this, is to pipe with it. So <laughs> because when it's it's a liquid form coming out that tube, so we thought we'd let it gel up a little bit more and pipe it. So so far, out of playing with it all of these months, that's the only thing I have found that I cannot do with it. And I'm thinking there's got to be a way. There just needs to be somebody who's a little smarter out there than me to do that. <laughs> so there's your challenge. <laughs> Going back to the um, the sheets that we were using there during the video we actually talk about how great it would be to use those uh, the icing image sheets with the deco gel over to do stained glass windows things of that sort for gingerbread mm -hmm. houses or you know any kind of house that would be um, beautiful. Yeah we actually have a question about the icing images sheets. Uh, someone is asking can you um, can you get icing sheets that have the images on them already? And I wanted to point out, icing images has their eye design. Eye designs are really amazing because they are pre-printed for you. You just go in. There are hundreds of, of varieties of you know of patterns to choose from. They are uh, they're okay to use. There's not going to be a copyright issue. And uh, so, yeah, they are definitely yeah, very good. They're, they're eye designs, and they are by Icing Images, and there's no copyright issue with them because um, Icing Images actually goes out and buys those designs so that there's never a copyright issue so that when they print them, everything is on up and up uh, a board, so there's not any um, legal ramifications from it. And yes, you can go to their website. And they have an area that you can just go select the ones that you want. They then will print them and send them directly to you. It's it's a wonderful thing. We're I, I keep saying I, one of the last trainings that we did, we talked about eye design a little bit, and we're going to be doing a training here soon on eye design. So yay! Be, yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so um, yeah, there is someone asking now. Um, can you add flavoring to it? Yes, you can. Okay, wonderful. And then coloring, can you add coloring to it? Yes, you can. All you have to do is just the same way you would do if you were working with um, um, an isomalt, and you all know how to do that by now, is heat it in the microwave, the deco gel in the microwave, bring it out when it's in its liquid form. That's when you're going to add your color to it, um, and that's when you'll add your flavor to it. Just give it a little stir and then go from there. All right. Well, there is our video. For those of you that want to see the video as a whole and uh, <laughs> with, with, with sound, yes, which we <laughs> highly recommend. Yes, we do highly recommend that. They were. It, it was a very fun uh, demo. And uh, like I said, we have some little bloopers and outtakes that I'm gonna I'm gonna pull <gasps> them up somewhere. So take it to where the country girl <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but really, is it worse than anything we've already posted? Probably not. Uh, Probably. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's all so anyway, fun. Let me pull up a link to that uh, video really fast for you guys and share it. Um, okay. In the meantime, again, this is down here the website where you can go on and order. Uh, right now, it is on sale for the next 24 hours. And yay! Gotta so, love a sale. 
Yes, yes. And I will and, pull that up. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, in my um, shabby chic collection of molds and cookie cutters will be on um, my website by the end of this week under our shopping cart. Perfect. Um, yes. Do I get first dibs, Susan? Wait, I, think, wait, I, I think so. I think you might already have a couple. I do but have yes, a couple. Yes, anything for you, my dear. Thank you, love. Perfect. Okay, here we go. We have... Uh, here we go. She's king. She's king. It's almost there. Here we go. This is the link to the YouTube video. I, I uh, would have made a nice, pretty link for it, but... I wasn't prepared for that. So That's okay, this works. It gets them the information yes. and it works. That's yeah. Right. So this is the link right here where you can uh, go and watch the actual uh, video. And I will post it on a CakeFu blog, put it on our CakeFu uh, Facebook page, things like that. We'll we'll make sure that it gets spread around so that you guys can see what, what Decodel does. Um, and of so, course, yeah. Peg and I will share the link as soon as you have it up on both of ours. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And of course, if they have any questions, they can go to you, to your Facebook page, to Susan's or mine, and we'd be happy to answer all of their questions, except for, you know, Susan's Susan's age now that she turned another year older. Her birthday was on <laughs> Monday, so, my so we do want to say good. happy birthday to you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> when, we, when we filmed this demo, it was actually her birthday, so it was kind of a fun little event. So yeah, happy birthday, Susan. <laughs> Thank Although you. Susan, Susan got no cake for her birthday. I know. Aww. Got plenty oh. of deco gel, though. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All righty. Well, thank you so much, Amelia. Well, I mean, I think you. this was great that we were able to do this last, you know, this whole thing was last minute. So I think that um, it's great that we can, we were able to show everyone the new product. Yeah, I think so too. I think that, yeah, it, it was, like I said, we filmed this on Monday. I spent all of yesterday editing mm -hmm. and uh, getting all of the products up on our, our marketplace. And so we just wanted to get it out here as fast exactly. as we could for you guys. Because it's, it's very really exciting. Great product. It, it is. is exciting. It is exciting. So, yes, we do thank you. We thank you for having Cake Fu up thank and you. running. And you are on your fourth year now, correct? Yeah, this is like our 82nd. Our 82nd. I know. I am so thrilled. Training. I can remember back um, four and a half, almost five years ago, you asking what some of us thought it might be in the industry. And it has turned out to be exactly what you had hoped it to be. And we had hoped it to be a great place for coming and learning about training, new products, um, getting questions answered. And I am thrilled that you have your new marketplace up now. Thank so you congratulations so on four Thank years, you. hon. Yes. Thank congrats. you so much. I, I really am honored that everybody has just taken to this so well and that you guys, you know, appreciate what we do. I get so much great feedback from everybody and so I, I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm I'm trying to accomplish the goal of helping everybody, you know, helping the the vendor, helping, you know, of course, myself and promoting Cake Foo and, and in helping the people who come in and watch. I think that it's Good for everyone all around. So it is a good I it agree. is a good place all the way around, and so I thank you for allowing um, Susan and I to be part of it. Um, and I'm I know that Susan will be back because she's got lots of exciting things. Yeah, <laughs> in fact, we'll have you back uh, next week or so, and well, in the next few weeks. Yeah, sometime, sometime soon. Sounds good. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, right. Thank you, Peggy. Thank you, Susan. And thank you, everybody, for listening. And uh, we'll see you guys all next time. All right. Bye Take now. care. Bye. Bye.